I've been collecting this plastic now for around about two months and uh, today I'm going to take it along to see if I can hand it over to somebody for recycling. Now this bag is full of um, cardboard. Worth a little bit to somebody on the side of the road but um, I just generally hand it over and I'm quite happy to give them my rubbish. Welcome to Wat Dong Gwen. Uh, this is a beautiful little temple near to my home uh, in Nong Kwai. That's Nong Kwai, the sub-district of Hangdong, just uh, a couple of kilometres south of Chiang Mai city. Today I've come here rather long-windedly. Uh, the roadworks are ongoing for the next uh, maybe two years, uh, whilst they dig a tunnel underneath the junction. I like to pop in here now and again, especially when I've come to the Orbitor's office, which is right next door. So why not? Can't miss the opportunity of seeing a beautiful building. Beautiful. Really lovely. Beautiful architecture. Lovely colours. Um, it's, it's got a special feeling to it. So, let's go and do that rubbish recycling, and uh, I'll see you then. A couple of months ago, I started investigating as to where to take uh, plastic and recycle it um, with a conscious effort to an improved recycling. Uh, there, there's a guy that makes uh, uh, bricks, blocks for roads, paved roads out of plastic and I thought well that's a good cause, I can, I can support that. So I investigated that a little bit and there's a, um, a cooperative in, in, in uh, Thailand that is uh, organising with local authorities to collect the plastic uh, at uh, various places, universities, uh, orbitals like this place here, uh, and then take it away to recycle uh, in Bangkok. They're trying to make people aware that there is something you can do with plastic other than just burning it or uh, selling it on and selling it on and selling it on. Plastic? Sorted. Here's the lady weighing up some metal. Body car. So this little place by the side of the road is a depository for rubbish and people bring rubbish here, put it on the scale, get some money and make a profit. But I like to see the smile on the lady's face when I give her some cardboard and I say that I don't want any money, my house a dang, and leave it there. Well, this is serious rubbish and there's plastic, there's cardboard, there are AC units, study cup, and it's getting recycled, it's getting repurposed and it's industrial scale. I fancy a coffee. Coming with me? Okay, let's go. I'll find something interesting. Well, right now I've come to the Royal Train Garden uh, on the Samung Road. It's uh, the Royal Train Resort and Restaurant. Uh, this, this train was uh, reportedly involved in the uh, death railway uh, period. Um, train number 744. Uh, it was built by Kawasaki, Japanese uh, company, in round about 1936 apparently. Well now I've come here for coffee and I'm seeing this train and amazingly there are lots of links going on here. There are so many links going on here, it's ridiculous. Kwai. Death Railway, Kanchanaburi, Jim, Railway. Now, that's an amazing leap, but I think you'll understand, Jim. Amazing. Wow. 
Anyway, I'm gonna kind of have some coffee and uh, I think now I'm feeling a little bit row nostalgic. I think I'll take, take you and see some trains, um, some modern trains on the railway track down the way. So stay with me and uh, hopefully that'll be of interest to you if you find this interesting. Some of what I'm gonna see down there will be of interest to you. But, um, hi Jim. Wow, what a connection. It's quite a nice place to come and have a cup of coffee. I enjoy playing Scrabble. Well, now we're at Sarapi Station, which is uh, south of Chiang Mai. This is the first stop out of Chiang Mai uh, on its uh, journey off to Lam Phun and further on towards Lam Phang. Well, I don't know about you, but that was quite um, exhilarating. I enjoy trains uh, uh, passing me. I enjoy trains, the sound of the tracks. I enjoy the, uh, the train whooshing. Uh, it takes me back to my childhood. I was so happy when I was on a train, knowing that uh, I was going somewhere. I didn't want to get there. I just wanted to go somewhere and be on that journey. It was, it was real good fun and to be there in the train with the rattling the whooshing the clickety click clickety click clickety click absolutely wonderful my, my sister then married a guy jim and he worked as a signalman and he was in the signal box at blackwater in uh, near camberley in southeast england and i remember as a 10 14 year old boy uh, going into the uh, signal box with him and spending the shift with him and we'd make lots of tea we'd have lots of conversations tell lots of jokes and we'd walk the line we'd walk up the line and down the line as it was called and we'd go to the signals and we'd put the lamp in the signal so that when the arm went up and down the driver of the train passing got the signal to say this is a red light or this is a green light a specialist job but one of those jobs that a lot of people don't even give consideration to being of importance and in this box across the way we have levers and those levers actually pull on the metalwork that uh, I'll show you and that metalwork part of the pulley system moves the, uh, the, the point fascinating and Jim used to do that absolutely fabulous good memories anyway that's all for this clip here at Sarapi station now I'm in uh, Nampre uh, I've come to Buzzy Bee Bikes to meet the owner Just uh, to find out a bit more information about the uh, fundraiser on the 23rd where will we go I mean what sort of route will we take um... I'm still thinking about it because I don't want to do the same same uh, route as last year. Just to show as an example of what um, the uh, bikes yes. are like. Quite a beast, that's lovely. Um, what are these bikes called? Electric uh, bikes? Uh, electric fat bike. Okay, um, bike, you know, bike. something provided or do we bring yeah. our own? Uh, on the day we will uh, have uh, water on the bikes and uh, get refills on the way if we need it and if we come back uh, we get a drink and some food. And so do you need to be physically fit to ride these bikes? Uh, no, not really. So if we come along in t-shirts, shorts and uh, okay. trainers, we'd be okay? Yeah, we'll be okay. Brilliant. And you're still taking bookings? Uh, yes, still taking bookings okay. till the day before. Very good. Thanks for joining me today. It's been interesting for me to make the video and I hope it has been for you. Consider giving me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and uh, please read the description and the links there. You'll see more information there. If you haven't subscribed already, please do and click the bell. You'll be notified of a new video release in your inbox. So uh, a special thank you to Jim, my brother-in-law for the memories, for Jim, his son, 
uh, for in, uh, inspiring me to make this video because his name popped into my comments a few weeks ago. So, until next time, this is Ali, an expat in Chiang Mai, saying bye-bye.